Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Tuesday, the 28th of May 2024. So back in the saddle and uh, let's see what uh, the market's done in my absence and uh, have a quick roundup. Obviously, yesterday was Memorial Day in the US and Bank Holiday in the UK, which I completely forgotten about. So this is why we're starting back today. So Memorial Day news roundup uh, from uh, the news Quark, uh, UK and US markets were closed uh, for trade on Monday for the Spring Bank holiday and Memorial Day, respectively, while well, several countries uh, condemned Israel for its strike, which killed dozens of civilians in uh, Rafa. And then on Friday, uh, the news was uh, best macro uh, week in four months uh, is bad news for most, but uh, the Nasdaq and uh, Ethereum surged uh, gold small caps monkey hammered on Friday in as rate cut to hopes uh, fade once more because inflation doesn't seem to be going away. Stocks close green after UOM inflation expectations ease. A bit of a contradiction there. So yeah, a um, bit of a mixed uh, time but obviously the markets have pulled back a bit uh, whilst I was away. No surprise there with the Dow making uh, 40,000. Uh, before we look at that, though, economic news, uh, we're in Tuesday. We've got S&P uh, Composite 20-year HPI year-on-year. Year, uh, that's forecast to come out the same. And consumer confidence uh, um, slightly lower there. So let's uh, have a quick look, see if there's anything else. No, we move on to non-farm payrolls, don't we, next week. We've got the jolts. We've got uh, non-farm and ADP. Yeah, so next week's uh, the non-farm payroll so we're getting ahead of ourselves there but uh, this week's just a lot of cpi numbers and gdp numbers but today we've got uh, just the, a couple there out at 2 p.m and 3 p.m for the us right let's move along have a look at the markets and kick off for the dow and have a review of what uh, has happened in uh, the last few days so the daily chart of the Dow, we've obviously got uh, the all-time high there of 40,079. The market's pulled back. As I mentioned uh, before I went away, had a short break, that uh, 40,000 was really important. We hit 40,000 before I went. And as I said, that uh, it's likely to pull back because it's a major psychological level. And that's exactly what the market's done. It's pulled back uh, between 38 and 50%. It's also sitting on the 50 EMA there as well. But if it breaks this... Uh, well, which had taken out uh, already two out of the averages, the five and the 20, then it's likely to head down towards 62. If not, we get a bounce off this to head back to the upside. 30 minute chart, obviously very choppy for Friday on those UM numbers, and uh, obviously uh, yesterday electronic only with the market uh, managing to move up about 130 points there. Quick look at the DAX. And in the German DAX, uh, the market also uh, pulling back there. You can see the selling coming in down here. We've got some supply, then some proper selling. The market did a bit of a bounce, came back. And then uh, during yesterday, the market moving up on the electronic session there. The German market opened yesterday. And you can see there a bit of a retracement back to the upside going on uh, with the market uh, currently above uh, 62% there. So that's an important level for the market to hold. All of the averages remain intact and in the right order. Uh, to continue moving to the upside, though, we'll need to take out the all-time high of 18,921 there. Quick look at the 30-minute chart. And uh, there you go. You can see from yesterday, electronic market moving uh, prices to the upside. No surprise there. And, of course, overnight, uh, the market struggling with yesterday's high because the reality is most traders will be back in uh, the office today. And you could see a bit of profit taking and pressure to the downside uh, for those markets that moved up yesterday on the electronic session. In the S&P 500, uh, this also uh, moving back towards the all-time high of 5349.8. And there is certainly high higher lows there and uh, not too far off the all-time high. 30-minute chart yesterday, very quiet just at the end. Uh, there was a bit of uh, activity there. Obviously, somebody seized the opportunity given that it was electronic, it was quiet. Opportunity to make a few quid, driving the markets to the upside. And overnight prices are bouncing off the DP there as well. And still, again, you've got the averages in the right order there. 5, 20 and 50 in uh, the right order for the price to move higher at the moment. In the FT100, the market was closed yesterday, including the electronic. So what we're seeing here is uh, the last uh, week and uh, the market uh, down to Friday and then overnight prices catching up with the electronic markets that we see 
from yesterday's uh, trading session. So can the market move back to the all-time highs? It's just drawing some fib retracements of where the targets would be on the upside. Uh, prices need to get back above the 5 and the 20 moving average, which you can see there the 5 is just below that 20, so it would need to get back above this level in order to uh, move back to the upside there. In the 30 minutes FT, you can see uh, there the market uh, Friday, that's not uh, yesterday, that's Friday session, and then the market uh, overnight starting to move higher. We sprung to the upside, sold off, and now moving to the upside there, so playing catch up for the FT100. In the US dollar, this is uh, starting to move down again, as uh, can be seen here, so that's going to be good news for the metal, so let's have a look at those. And in the silver market, good day yesterday on the electronic session. Um, whether that would be allowed to, to hold today, who knows. But uh, certainly heading back to the upside, and that's um, a nice move on the electronic session. Normally it's taken advantage of, uh, or rather the quietness is taken advantage of by the bankers and the market slammed. But uh, yesterday, as you can see in the 30-minute chart, uh, price is continuing uh, to break out there. Took out the 200 MA on a lot of volume bit of supply coming in there as it to uh, reach the uh, 3150 but got through there market will need to stay above uh, this level in order to uh, move back and take out yesterday's high at 3184 uh, there different picture in gold though and if we just go back and show you this so we're going towards the 6278 uh, retracement meanwhile gold uh, a bit lackluster nowhere near 6278 so we know what that means. That means the gold-silver ratio will have plunged uh, on that basis because uh, silver's uh, moved a lot uh, further to the upside than the gold price uh, for yesterday. did spike up a bit uh, towards the end, and overnight it's moved up a bit, but it still needs to uh, play a bit more catch-up. Um, and frankly, I think uh, silver is being unleashed at the moment, which brings me to another point, which I will uh, show you in just a second. But let's have a look at the gold silver ratio. So this is a weekly chart of the gold silver ratio and I've had to go to this one because uh, we're looking at these sorts of levels over here um, which is going to be around, uh, let me just freeze that, so uh, we're looking at uh, 74, 22, 73, I mean wow this has been a long time since we got down to these levels, it was uh, certainly uh, what we got here, that's December 22 and then we go all the way back to October 21. So, yeah, surprisingly, the uh, gold-silver ratio is moving lower. So I'll look in the daily, and you'll see what I mean about uh, yesterday uh, moving sharply to the downside, and also uh, during uh, last week as well. Uh, yes, what I wanted to mention was this. This was sent to me by a very good friend. We are in the end stages of the bank, uh, sorry, the bullion bank's ability to modulate the silver price. This is well worth a listen. If you want to know what's going on in the metals markets, and why uh, David uh, Jensen believes that we're at the end game, and I, I can't argue with the, the research in this video and where the price of the metals could go as well. Uh, there's a, a table of contents in the video which you can see there, uh, the rehypothecation in London, which means selling something you don't have and uh, reselling it. Uh, bullion banks and physical paper Ponzi scheme ETF drawdown supply uh, Jeff Curry well if you want to know about him have a look back to uh, 2020 he actually admitted live on Bloomberg how they tamped down the price uh, using the silver ETFs yeah he actually admitted it live on TV no nothing no actions taken and then bullion and China influence. But a really good interview if you uh, want to have a listen to this. It's 43 minutes, but uh, I took the opportunity to listen to it when I was traveling back on Saturday, and it was well worth a listen. Probably one of the best uh, commentaries and also insights into the manipulation of the uh, metals markets, particularly uh, silver. Okay, let's... Um, have a quick look at uh, what the market's doing overnight as uh, I haven't got any uh, trades recorded. Uh, they'll start back today and uh, see where the uh, intraday for the two-minute uh, German DAX is for those of you that uh, trade it. So let's just recap where we are in the bigger picture. We can see the market's uh, moving back up in the daily chart, so we're just above the 62% retracement. And then uh, here you can see that uh, at the moment it's very quiet in the market uh, just uh, below the high. It's got the close there, it's got the 200 MA and the close there to find support if the market has a bit of a shakeout. It's currently uh, 643 
so 15 minutes before the kickoff and any activity in this market so let me just uh, squeeze the chart up a bit and see what we've got we've got the uh, if anything happens uh, to the close and the market takes it out we've got the dp which is also sitting on a brn a big round number and a psychological level of uh, 18,750 so this would be a very important level if prices do get moved down and if they're allowed to break back above the high then you've got the r1 in the way and then uh, it also uh, we've got 100 points away from where we are at the moment so that's the 850 level so yeah um well 100 points away from the the dp i should say that okay that will uh, do it for this one let's see how the markets uh, fare today everybody's back uh, still the you know towards the end of may and the markets haven't really sold off we've got a bit of a move to the downside so let's see what uh, happens and with that uh, as ever thanks for watching see you in the next